So spontaneous versus non-spontaneous. A spontaneous process will occur without ongoing outside intervention. If we look at simple mechanical systems, we can see how um, the system is going to tend towards the lowest potential energy, right? So here, this guy is holding up this heavy thing with a, a rope. And if he lets go, what's going to happen? It's going to fall down. That process of falling is a spontaneous process. OK? It's a little harder to see in, in terms of chemistry, chemical reactions. Here, if, you know, taking this salt and dissolving it in water, is that going to be spontaneous or not? Well, we know from experience that when you put salt in water, it does dissolve spontaneously. But exactly how that happens is not exactly obvious. So here we talk about a chemical potential that's going to uh, predict which direction the system goes. Now, spontaneity is different than speed. You can have a spontaneous reaction that is extremely, extremely slow, right? So thermodynamically spontaneous and kinetic speed are completely not related. A catalyst can increase the rate of a reaction, but it will not change a non-spontaneous process into a spontaneous process. And the other thing that's weird is a non-spontaneous process is not impossible. It just won't happen on its own. It requires outside intervention, usually in the form of an energy supply. You have to put energy into it to make that process happen.